Yes. Right, so we're here at Comic Con, and there was uh, a big announcement yesterday about World War Z. Um, how much do you know about it, and how much were you involved in all that? I wasn't involved in any of the decision making. Right. All I know is that um, a little while ago I had a meeting with Paramount, mm. uh, and they told me that Brad Pitt apparently liked the new script so much he wants to star in it. Excellent. All right. Um, how, 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 have you had any communication with him about what, how much he likes the comic? Or? Uh, Brad and I have not spoken. <laughs> um, I I went over to him. I said, Brad, and he said, Yeah, where's my cappuccino? <laughs> no, I have not met Brad Pitt yet. So. <laughs> I'd imagine. Um, but I mean, uh, so have you got any inclination about where they're going to take the movie and whether it's going to stick to your comic or? You know, that, that, that's a really it's, it's a good question. And the truth is, I know this is blasphemous for me to say. But I would rather they make the best zombie movie they can make Fair instead of worrying about sticking as close as my book to right. my book as possible. Because I'd love them to be loyal to the book, but I'd rather them make a really, really good zombie movie. That's more important to me. Excellent. And I mean, zombies are going to be the next vampires, it seems. There's something with Walking Dead coming up and everyone getting excited about that. I mean, uh, yeah. are, you there, are you there, like, putting your hand up and going, I've been into zombies for ages. <laughs> I have. I have been into zombies for ages. Uh, it's nice to see that other people are, too. Yeah. And, um, I mean, World War Z is kind of in the past. It's kind of got, I want to call it World War Z all the time. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. <laughs> Do you think we'll call it that in Britain, though? Uh, yes, <laughs> it's called that in Britain and Canada and all over the empire. Fair enough. Then you don't mind that. Not at all. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, you're still continuing with zombies in your comics. I mean, what, what, tell us what you're doing at the moment. Uh, well, right now we've got uh, Zombie Survival Guide, Recorded Attacks, which are yep. stories based on Zombie Survival Guide, yep. which Paramount just optioned for a movie as well. Oh, really? Along with the original Zombie Survival Guide. Ah, okay. So, apparently things are heating up because uh, they've optioned all my other zombie projects. <laughs> But if zombies start getting really popular with the mainstream, you're worried there might be a Twilight version of zombies coming up with like Bella falling in love with an undead. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's inevitable. I think eventually things reach a cultural crescendo. And then eventually you have Twilight. And the lesson of Twilight is the only thing scarier than vampires are penises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what, what is your... Um, why are zombies cool? Why do you write about them so much? Uh, I write about zombies because they're apocalyptic in nature, mm. and they don't obey the rules of other monsters, and that they come to you, and they come to you in the billions. Mm. Uh, I think they're a great vehicle for social commentary, as yep. opposed to a lot of other monsters. I think zombies got their roots in social commentary with George Romero. Yep. That's George Romero, the man. <laughs> uh, George Romero pretty much set the tone. Yeah. for modern zombies and I'd like to continue that tone with social commentary excellent and uh, where where do you think you'll be going next what's the next stage for zombies I have no idea <laughs> right now my next project is G.I. Joe oh right okay tell yeah. us about that well I'm writing a G.I. Joe comic a limited series called Hearts and Minds right and it's basically character studies of some Joes and some Cobras okay. uh, it's sort of if you played with those action figures if you read the comics as a kid and you wanted to know more about their personalities, that's what this is. Right. And because we're here at Comic Con, are you going to be taking advantage to go and meet some of your heroes? Who are you excited about here? Well, uh, it's interesting. I, I met David Peterson uh, a few years ago who did Mouse Guard. Right. A huge oh, fan yeah. of his. Yeah. Huge fan. Uh, has no idea who I am. <laughs> Actually, he does now. He didn't. For years, I would come up to him. Right. And at one point, he thought I was stealing his comics. <laughs> Finally, huh? he, he found out who I am. So, uh, so that's very cool. Uh, I'm very excited to go meet uh, the woman who invented I Heart Guts. Oh, right, yeah. Those are plush dolls. Yeah, I, I saw them. No, actually, I've only just seen them yesterday. Was the first time I came across. That's a better interview than anything I could ever give you. <laughs> That's more original than anything I've ever done. 